It was what Jesus was in the spirit that was manifested through his teaching. And the guys that were onlookers had to investigate. This is not the pattern of the Pharisees. Uh, what exactly is the element that is added to this delivery? Then upon more detailed search, they discovered uh, that I marveled that it was owing to the fact that he was a man of authority in the realm of the spirit and a man of power. If the kingdom of God is going to advance, it advances by two keys, and their names are authority and power. But you see, you need to understand something. Anytime the kingdom of God is not advancing, it means the guys that are on pulpit, they lack authority and they lack power. If the hand of God is not coming upon your family to bring it into his prophetic destiny, it means the priest of the house lacks authority and he lacks what? Power. That's why the kingdom of God is not extended. That's why the kingdom of God is not expanding in that household. Every time it expanded, it took men of authority. It took men of power to extend it. They marveled. At his teaching. For he spoke like one. Having authority. I've been burdened in recent times. There's so much sermonizing. So much preaching from the pulpit. And the impact is so little on society. When you check people with Christian names. That are given um, opportunity in government. To serve the nation. There's still money more than the people that are. Uh, infidels and unbelievers then you begin to wonder what exactly is happening if we have a problem of that nature it means that the church has failed to raise the leaders that will stir the nation into our prophetic destiny and that is what happens where ministers minister without authority and without power the kingdom of God cannot be extended the grounds of darkness cannot be reclaimed and everything is according to status quo. Jesus said upon this rock, I will establish my church. And the rock which he spoke about was the revelation that Peter had. That any man that has contacted such a revelation about Christ, there is a foundation that is laid in his heart. And it's upon that foundation that God begins to build. And when such a building exists, devil and the darkness will not be able to protect the activities. He said the gate of hell will not work. That means darkness will not be able to protect her activity anymore. If, if in your village the activity of darkness has been protected for 10 years, it means no man of power and authority has visited that land that is aligned to the kingdom of God. It is not God that went to sleep, it is we that are fake. Imagine in the apostolic church, those guys were unlearned men. Today we need half a government to govern a church. We need an archbishop. We need a bishop. We need... Those guys didn't go to school. It was not strategy sessions that they held. It was prayer meetings. It was not planning times that they convened. It was the ministry of the world. Today, in, if you just need to come to Lagos and see the caption of most ministry conferences, it's about strategy, strategy, strategy. So you see technocrats just lined up on the poster. That's why we are where we are. <laughs> That's why we are here. Uh, it's not about technocrats and people speaking about economic empowerment and, and the economic war front and how to position people by strategy, understanding how to read the stock market, the all share index, uh, hey, and trading forex online. Those are strategy sections. It, it makes you bogus in your mind and lean in your spirit. Jesus was reckoned because of what? His authority and power. Whereas God conquers with power. Just in case there is a satanic base, it is power that God will use to hit that place. It's like airstrike. 
you use it to bomb military uh, 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 enemy camp so that you can release the infantry to go and mop up to carry out mop up action so when there is a satanic base god launches into that base with power for those of you that still go for crusades god is more ready to act when there is the terrain is dark when you come at first it will be stiff that means god wants to move today mm. what you do is just by an act use your will and join with the will of god that i will not stop until it cracks and i tell you most times when that crack is effected jesus flows through the cracks and it unleashes a, 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 a tsunami of power an avalanche of power to displace the devil in that land if the kingdom must advance men that know how to draw the avalanche of power must enter into the spirit it will be by their definition in that realm that they can call powers to rain vengeance upon territory that darkness has invaded so god needs power to conquer but when he has conquered he establishes authority and he begins to rule for you to give your life to christ it took power he invaded the darkness that was in your heart. The Bible says it is God that caused, caught, caught the light out of darkness. And in our hearts, he also caught light. There was a darkness inside of our hearts. And the Bible says the same God that called light out of darkness. In the midst of darkness, there was no flood light inside. He, he invoked light right from the root of darkness. He, he called it forth from where darkness, light did not exist. He just emerged from the midst of it. He said the same God is the one that shined upon our hearts. It took power for us to be saved. But now that you are saved, he rules over your life through his authority. It means that if you don't understand the authority of God, we are suffering from a very deadly limitation. 